going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Wow, I was pointing upwards a lot. What is going on everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day. It is, uh, I'm going to hate myself for this tomorrow, but I have to do it tonight. I'm going to be installing something at 11.30 at night right now. I just got home, by the way. And I got my strut bars in. So I'm going to be installing, guys, a hydraulic strut bars for the IS300, the hood. The hood strut bars, pretty much. So guys, it's late. And let's get to it. Alright guys, so I know you guys can probably not really see me, I guess. Much better. Wow, that is bright. I guess I'll hold it like right here. Oh no, now you see me better. But yeah guys, we're going to be installing the hood shocks on the IS. So, where the hood shocks are going to go? We'll be bolting up to the top bolt right there. That bolt right there. And we're going to bolt the other piece to the first bolt right there. I know that it's a little surface weird rust thing. But yeah guys, so it's going to look a lot cleaner than having this strut. Right there. There, guys. So let's get to this install. Hello there, guys. We lost our racing back. All right, guys. So I know this is like the weirdest angle. I'm just laying on my car. But yeah, guys, we're gonna pop this open. We're gonna do the left first. What the heck? We're gonna do the left first because I have the strut bar holding up the up the right side. So we're gonna do the left because it's easier and I have like less things in the way. But yeah, let's get to that part first. All right, guys. So, oh my God, my camera. Hold on now, it's dark. It's dark for y'all. Hey guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to get the longer one. The longer bracket's gonna go up here, and it's gonna be bolted up to the first, like to the top. Mind you, the brackets, you'll see it. It does not wanna focus, wow, okay. Well, either way, these brackets on these little white stickers, it says left or right, so you just find which side you need to go which, and then go on from there. But yeah, let's get that. And if I remember correctly, I'll have to recheck, but I think it's a 10 millimeter. Okay, I did not remember correctly because it's not a 10 millimeter. Oh my god. Someone just crashed? I thought someone did. Well, it sounded like someone just crashed. I guess not. So, it might not be a 10, but it's a 12 for sure. So let me look for the 12 in my toolbox. From hearing all my neighbors, like two blocks, two houses down. Uh, apparently, I guess he hit the sidewalk. But yeah, so you gotta loosen up the top. I don't know why I have giant extension on. Oh, take off my extension. All right, make my life easier. Yeah, take off the top one. Should be held up by one bolt. Doesn't matter. I just don't know if I get this here. I grabbed the wrong side. Take two of that. Alright, so get the long one. I don't know if I gotta bolt it up to the outside. You can bolt it up to the outside because it also has like a little 3M tape thing in the back. So you wanna take off the 3M tape. Make sure, okay, just fell. Make sure you line it up perfectly. Now finger tighten it first. Who wants to finger tighten it? There. And you want to tighten it down. After that, take off the rubber. And when you take off the rubber, I will bring you guys to me. All right, so now you're going to take off the rubber that normally goes here. And you're going to take off from the top down. Not this bolt up there, but I find it better to put it right here. That's the only one that I've honestly seen it go perfectly to like stretched out. I know Figs Engineer makes one and it bolts up to that bolt, like to that hole right there. But for this kit that I'm using, it's gonna bolt up to this one right here. Now, for that one, it's gonna be the blockier one. And it's gonna be, remember the R facing upwards. So it's gonna be like this. It's gonna go around the, the main wiring harness also here. And I think, again, it's a 12. Nope, it's a 10, God damn it. I think I had my 10 there. Yep, put my 12 up here so I don't lose it. I was tightening it. Nice one, John. Nice one, John, John. Alright, so now, get the strut. Like that. Alright, so I was able to get it in. Uh, and I actually was able to finesse it down under the, the uh, fender. 
So it gives it more of a, like a flush look and all that. When you do put the, the little hydraulic struts, they just pop into place, honestly. You just gotta give it a little, little force. Make sure all the bolts and everything is tightened down. Move this rubber back in the spot. And it looks a lot cleaner if it's underneath either way. All right, so yeah, as you guys see, I was able to finesse it under the fender. Looks a lot cleaner, honestly. Let me see. Oh, see now you can get, now you guys can kind of see the R there. But yeah, finessed it underneath. Top just bolts up to the top part, and it pretty much has the shape of like that bracket. So yeah, and then it has like I said the 3M on the top, so it'll so it's pretty flush. This time I'm gonna start from the bottom. Because honestly, it doesn't matter. You can start from either side, like either, like from the top or the bottom. It doesn't really have like a special way to start. Again, big bracket. We're gonna try to finesse it under the fender. It might be a little harder than expected. Okay. Ah! Ah! That hurt. Ow! I might need my flashlight guys, so I won't film this side. Alright guys, next is the top one. Pick off the 10 millimeter. Get yourself the 12 millimeter. Take off the top screw. Then bolt the nut. I know it's not a nut. It's not a screw either. Yeah, it's a bolt. Take off the top bolt. Just like that. Put this there. There it is. Thought I lost it for a second. Take off the adhesive paper in the back. Where did I put that? Okay. So now, again. Yes, I'm on my knees. Make sure it follows the body panel. Or not the body panel, but like the way the, the hood follows like the bracket. Get your, your, your ratchet. Get your strut. Pop it up into the bottom. A little easier with that. Okay. Just leave that there. See, this is why I hate this. I gotta like maneuver it. There we go. Oh. Put this thing back in there. Oh, something's something's up that it's not really. There we go. All right, there you guys go. That's how you guys do the struts. Again, I'm just gonna go over everything and make sure everything's tightened. Like this puppy, I don't think I tightened it all the way. Grab my phone. Grab the camera. Oh my God. Yeah, it's got. It's got some pressure. But yep, there it goes. That's got pressure. Oh my god. Pop the hood open. I meant those hydraulic struts are like brand spanking new. So you do, you do gotta give it a little bit of play. Go like that. Bam. Straight up. And just look at that. Like it looks so much cleaner. Here, phone. It just looks so much cleaner. Like you don't have the hood struts so much easier to open. Now, time to delete that. But yeah, guys, welcome to my creepy stories. No, I'm kidding. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that type of stuff. Till next time, peace out.